Hello everyone. In this video, I'll let you know the step-by-step -step procedure of drawing a regular polygon. For this, I need an wooden table or a wooden plank, a mini drafter, sheet, drawing sheet, and two different kinds of pencils. One is uh, H pencil, which is used for drawing lighter line, and the other one is HB pencil, which is uh, used for drawing the thicker lines. And also, I need a compass, a sharpener, and an eraser. So let's get started with the drawing of a regular polygon. So I have taken a polygon of side 60 mm. For that, I'll take an HP pen, H pencil and draw a line of side 60 mm. Name it as A, B. On this line, AB, draw a square. Name this square as P. Q. We need to draw a line between A and P. All the lines should be very dark. Here we are drawing just a polygon. So only the polygon should be highlighted. All other uh, lines should be very light. For that we, we have to definitely use some 2H or 3H pencils. After this, I have to draw a diagonal uh, arc between the points A and P. For that, with B as center, AB as radius, with B as center and AB as radius, draw an arc. Now, divide the line AB into two equal parts. That is nothing but we need to perpendicular bisect our, the line AB. For that, I'll take compass and with AB as radius, with radius more than half of draw an arc above and below. And with A as center, draw an arc which is joining the previous one. Now join these two arcs. Now we have divided the line AB into two parts. Now this perpendicular bisector is joining the diagonal at one point and this perpendicular bisector <coughs> is joining the arc at one point. <coughs> this point uh, which is joining the line is called as point 4 because if we take uh, the radius as 4a and draw a circle, we can construct a square. This point, which is joining the perpendicular bisector and an arc, is called as point 6. If we take a6 as radius and draw a circle, and on that circle, we can construct a hexagon. Now, I'll show you the procedure for drawing a hexagon. For hexagon, as I said, I need to take 6a as radius with 6 as center and a as radius or ab as radius i'll draw a circle For hexagon, I repeat, for hexagon, you have to take 6A as radius and draw a circle touching A and B. After that, measure A and B with the help of compass. And cut the arcs onto the circle. Okay. 
Now join these arcs to form or to construct a hexagon. As this is a required sides, you can draw it with HB pencils or pen pencil. Name it as C, D, E and F. Now this is our required hexagon. By using the same method we can also draw polygons of different sides. Uh, we can draw it for 5 sides it is called as pentagon. For 7 sides it is called as septagon. For 8 sides it is called as octagon. I will also show you the procedure for drawing pentagon. For pentagon we need to point out the point 5 on this 6 4 line for that I will measure the distance between 4 and 6 it is around some 20 so I can <coughs> take 10 this point which is in between 6 and 4 is point 5 with point with 5 a as radius now draw a circle 5A as radius, draw a circle which is touching A and B. On to this circle, now we can go for the marking of the sides. Now take AB as radius and mark the sides from the points A and B. Now join all these arcs to form a pentagon. Name this as, as A, B, C, D and E. <coughs> now we have drawn a regular pentagon. So we can also draw septagon as well as octagon using this method. For that, for septagon you need to point out uh, the point 7. For octagon you have to take the point 8 as center and 8A as radius. So by this method, we can draw regular polygon of any different sides. So I guess I have cleared all your doubts and in the next video, I will let you know another method of drawing regular polygon with the help of using a protractor.